now that we have a completely blank editor, let's uh, talk about the Project Explorer, which is a window inside the editor. And to get to the Project Explorer, we need to have the standard toolbar up. So let's get the standard toolbar up. Before we close it, I, I want to show you how to put it back. You right click on the toolbar and you click standard. So you need to know what these toolbars are because you want to be familiar with what your screen is showing you. Like if, if you didn't know that this was a standard toolbar, you might be confused about these buttons. There's nothing to be confused about. This is the standard toolbar and we're going to talk about a bunch of these icons here. So what we want to talk about first is this Project Explorer icon. It looks like this. I'm hovering over it. And I can get to the Project Explorer by clicking on this icon or I can click Control R. Either way, um, I'll just click on it and here's the Project Explorer. And now you want to notice a couple things. Um, at the very top in the Project Explorer, it says VBA Project and then inside parentheses, it says the name of your workbook. So my workbook is called Book One. You can see here, it's just called Book One. I didn't save it or anything yet. Uh, if I save it as something else, like File, Save As, if I put Book 11 and just click Save, now if I go to the, if I go to the editor, it says Book 11.xlxx. SL, XLSX. And so that is what the Project Explorer initially shows you at the top is that the name of your workbook is in parentheses. And then beneath that, it sort of has a tree hierarchy where you can see there's a folder that says Microsoft Excel Objects. And within that folder, there's a bunch of default um, items here. There's a sheet one, there's a sheet two, there's a sheet three. And what are these things? Well, these are just areas where you can write code, but it's associated with the sheet one in the workbook. And we'll talk about this more in a second, but you can see this workbook has three sheets, sheet one, sheet two, and sheet three. If I click on another sheet here and insert a worksheet to sheet four or do it again, sheet five, now if I go back to the Project Explorer, now I have five sheets. So all this is, this Project Explorer, is sort of giving you a very high level view of the objects you have, the VBA objects you have in your Microsoft Excel uh, workbook. So here's my workbook. What kind of objects do I have within it? Well, I have five sheets, one, two, three, four, five. They match the number of sheets that exist in my workbook. And then I have this other, um, item here called this workbook uh, and this is like a default area where you can write code for the whole workbook uh, these things here are called modules and we're gonna talk about the modules a little bit more right now so so you're gonna be writing your code in these modules you could write your code in here so if I double click on this you'll see a, a new window popped up. And this is the code window where you can actually write code. And we'll, we'll get into that in a second, but I just wanna show you that if you double click on this, this, if I put something in here like sub sheet two, and just click enter, notice if I double click on sheet one, it, it's, it went away. That's because that code I wrote is, is now in this sheet two module. Um, I can close this code window um, <clears throat> over here. Actually, I can close it by clicking that X there. And the code doesn't disappear. If I double click it again, there's the code, right? But if I if I close it by click by double click by clicking this X over here the code goes away. So all these are, this is like your containers for your code. Think of a module as the container where you're going to write code. Um, and specifically, there's five different types of modules. We already saw two of them. Um, the first type of module is a worksheet module. And by default, you're going to have as many worksheet modules 
as worksheets you have in your workbook. So like we just saw, if you have five sheets, you're going to have five worksheet modules. Here's the five worksheet modules. The next type of module, number two, is the this workbook module. And by default, you're always going to have this module. And we'll talk about down the road in this in this video series how you can write code that uh, that <coughs> accounts for events that happen in the workbook and we'll write we'll write code for that that type of stuff in the this workbook module the third type of module that you can have here you don't see it right there's only two types of modules a sheet module and a workbook module when you initially open but you can insert the other types of modules. So here's the other types of modules. Um, the third type of module is a form module. So if I click that, look what happens. Um, this is a user form. Maybe you're familiar with this, maybe you're not. But this is like an interface that we can write code and have <coughs> the users interact with this interface. And we do that by, you, by writing code associated um, <coughs> by writing code in these user form modules. Another type of module that you can have if you go to insert up here is a class mod. well yes a class module and these are not used very frequently in Visual Basic uh, VBA and Excel. <coughs> Some very advanced programmers will will use class modules but 99% of the stuff you need to get done in a VBA Excel program, you don't need to use these class modules. Um, and then the last type of module is the most important one. It's just a what's called a module here. And this is like a generic module. And you're going to be writing your code 99% of the time in these modules. So notice I said there were five different types of modules uh, you could see them in these four folders here in the first folder there's two types of modules there's these worksheet modules and then the this workbook module in this second folder this forms folder there's a user form module where if I double click it you could see the user form we could write code for it we'll get into that later the third folder has a generic module where we're, like I said we're going to be writing 99 percent of our code and this is how you should write your code <coughs> in these modules and the 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 uh, fourth folder has the final type of module it's a class module here so what's the takeaway from this video the takeaway from this video is that we need to have a place where we can write our code this project explorer allows us to see the places where we where we write our code uh, you could write your code in in here in here if you double click you know you could write code in here you could write code in here if you double click you could write code over here if you double click and we'll get into writing the code in a second but I just wanna it's important to know where you write the code <coughs> and the difference between these modules why do we write all of our code in these generic modules most of the time because when you have a VBA uh, macro, you don't want to put it behind a sheet here because, um, number one, well, the sheet might get deleted. So if I, if I double click this, um, and you can see there's some, there's some code there, right? If I go into the workbook and I delete it, I'll click delete. I'll go back to my project now all that code that I wrote <coughs> for instance if it was thousands of lines of code is gone so that's one thing you can very e easily delete your code if you delete a sheet <coughs> so instead we write our code in these modules and you could have many many modules I can insert another module here and another one I could just keep inserting stuff. Same way you could keep inserting these other type of modules, these form modules here. You could insert all types of modules and this sort of eliminates the possibility of deleting 
your code by deleting a sheet. It also makes it easier um, to organize your VBA code. Because here, if you only if you had a macro that only was associated with one worksheet, and it was very long, thousands of lines of code, you wouldn't want to write all thousands of lines of code in here. You're probably going to have different different functions and stuff, so you could split it up in these different modules here. So, so that is uh, the. <coughs> That is the Project Explorer. It shows you where you can. It shows you where you can write your code, and we'll, we'll get into these things later. The main takeaway again is that we're going to use this folder, the Modules folder, and we are going to write our code in in these modules, these generic modules. We're also going to write code in some forms. And that'll be like 99% of the time in the real world where you're going to write your code. The other percent of the time, you might do some stuff for events when the workbook opens or closes, and you'll do that in here. Very rarely will you write code in here in these worksheet modules, and very rarely will you use these class modules down here. So in the next video, we'll talk about the properties window and get more into that.